via on the way to NJ Pack. What a day! 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 back let's walk inside let's find slimy let's do this hey, good morning good morning Hilly. what are they coming up it's happening sunday morning january 7 baruch hashem hask 37 This is considered the biggest stage of Jewish music, part of the show. Yes. We're doing a uh, musical. We're combining act and music. It's dark, it has to come in the middle of the show, so we're just gonna put Spike on the floor to know where the park is. For the first time, a Jewish show is having a hologram. We're bringing back Shlomo Kalbach. Wow. Over there. Wow. But in order it should look nice, it has to be a lot of lighting to hide that screen. You see that screen? So that's also what we're doing. Baruch Hashem, the money is going for a good cause. The show is sold out for two, three weeks already because people know and expect the best. This is our props. We have four scenes here. We built a train. As you can see, it's snowing outside. We are in NJ Pack. There is so much going on inside. Shlomi obviously does not have time to give us a tour. So let's go have a tour. I love the carpet and the heaviness and the relaxation that you feel when you walk in here. Of course, there's rehearsal the whole time, so you're gonna hear singing the answer to that. I'll try to keep the mic close. We're going to see the main jam of this whole place, okay? It's all nice and dandy out there, but this is the main, main, main place that you wanna be hooked up to. There's laser nails and good food, okay? You don't need to know more than this. Look at this. Siegestellt, warm jeden. Okay, this is Moshe Greenfeld. He's in charge of the makeup and costumes, but now he's gonna give us a hidden jam tour behind the scenes. Let's go. Let me introduce you the second floor of backstage. These are rooms for generally the actors, for them to have their own space and Avon Fried, Benny Friedman, and Mordechai Shapiro. These two rooms, the choir room and the actor's room, are bigger rooms. And over here, this is the biggest room. That's where we do the costumes and makeup. Yes, Let me and show that's you. where I'm going to crash if I need to. Don't tell anyone, please. Makeup costumes, that's it. Isn't All right. this amazing? Look at this. This is my room. Who's over here? On the left side, you'll have Shlomi Steinmetz and the Pivot Production. And that on one? the right side, you'll have Camp Hask and their team. Uh -huh. So these are the executive offices. It's bigger rooms. It has a kitchen. I can't go in to show you because I'm not an executive. This is a exit from backstage going to front stage. This is now the calm before the storms. So this is the grand entrance of the NJ Pack. He yeah, came from Israel. Okay. Uh, for the the best, we flew in 50 people. Now wow. imagine logistics. Everyone needs plane tickets, everyone needs hotels, Ubers, okay. food. So we have to pivot. Back to we yes. brought in a whole trailer just from cable. You see these lights? Yes. It's also up there. Exists one place. I like this light. One person has this light in Nebraska. So how long in advance do you need to order this? Um, two months before. Wow. The first time a Jewish show has lasers. We put in a, what's it called, disco, disco ball, ball yeah. just to add some lights in there. I write down my vision for the show. What is the show about? How do people feel? It's how I start the show and end the show. I had a good vision when I started working on it, but then October 7 happened. 
So I kind of needed to bring in something, change the whole message up, do everything different. The show is not just about inviting the singers, what songs to sing, who sings first, who sings next. To introduce, we took a lot of risks because people that come here not necessarily are coming here to watch a play. Right. So there's a lot of risks it's happening in the show. Wow. And we're here since Thursday, by the way. This really? is what Yeah. These are the singers' mics. Okay. Every singer has their own mic set with their own sound and whatever they need to hear. Okay. Um, they get on stage, we give it to them. They come off stage, take it back. We check for batteries okay. and so on. What's this is a IEM, this is earpieces, so they hear the music to their liking. Okay. There's going to be a sound check soon as you say, I want to hear drums, I want to hear more of this, I want to hear that. And the band leader could talk to them as well. Hmm. Prep mixing station just for the stage, for what the stage hears. Why There's the does house. Why need to be separate from the other side? Because musicians have to be comfortable in their own way. The violinist doesn't have to hear that instrument. Uh -huh. He doesn't have to hear that instrument. Everyone wow, hears what they want to be comfortable with. Yes. How many people are on stage at the same time? A lot. Um, that's the live video, so there's cameras all over the room. So this is Flow Motion, Yankee okay. Teitelbaum. Okay. They basically are in charge of the live screens, the videos that everyone's going to be seeing as also well. the screens on stage? The screen on stage are VJ. That's like and graphics are, and stuff. They're sitting where? Um, they're sitting, they're sitting down there. Uh -huh. That's okay. Schmulek. Okay. And right here we have the live video, so the cameras. Right. So they're controlling the live cameras that the crowd can see, as well as the live stream for people buying at home. Uh -huh. They send the feed to the live stream. Wow. So he designed the teleprompter and he has his own station just for the teleprompter, to show the teleprompter. Let him, let him show you over here, come. Okay, so this starts like this, okay, with the logo. The right. and then you have all the, whatever is gonna happen on the show. Let's say we have a song, which is not full songs, then with my controller, I can control it, it goes based on the speed of the song. Now, there's more uh, complicated songs, let's say the finale, so we have, Everyone's singing over here. So everyone gets their own color. So they don't get confused. Yeah. And this is obviously after weeks of planning and uh, making sure everything is according to the schedule. And here like, you can see the teleprompter. They line. can see over there in the choir also has one. This is my timeline. So we have 2024 timeline, all the songs, the lineup, right. everything. Then we have a library timeline, which is man, a stage manager. Then we have a timeline for the play. Then we have a rehearsal timeline. Then we have visual live, the one, everything here is time wow. coded. Wow, how many timelines do you look, have? Look how detailed it is. Exactly my ideas has to be written in Hebrew, reference Who of different Who sits and does this? I do it. That's crazy. Then we have a timeline for the lighting designer, exactly what colors I want. Finish sound check. Okay. Line check. Okay. okay. Just making sure everyone gets their click. Yeah, that's all. In that inner is on the on the stage already now. Then the band is ready to roll. It's 12:18. They're ready, ready right? to roll. Right. The biggest challenge this morning was that everybody went to sleep late, and we needed to. Because of rehearsal. Mm, yeah, because there was a lot of last minute things to do. Okay. You have to understand one thing. Everyone that works on the show, we have the top team, but we have all done shows the last few weeks every night again ah. so we kind of got ready the last minute uh -huh. so he went to sleep like nine o'clock wow and in the hotel across the street we have a lot of rooms the hotel is actually owned by uh, the chairman of Hess. nice yeah. when is cut off so, time when do you have to stop six o'clock doors open so that's when i need to stop and that's when everybody goes off stage and they prepare for the real thing when does the they real thing the start wide, seven o'clock seven o'clock okay we're now 12 20 everybody's ready on stage let's rock a lot of, a lot, by the way it's another challenge a lot of people came late because they're in upstate so they had a problem to uh, with the snow there's always challenges always surprises but the idea of my idea is that i'm 100 percent ready everything is delegated i'm here to problem solve that's it uh -huh. Zult. Okay, look at the lighting, it's crazy. So they're testing one more time the hologram to make sure that it's clapping 100%. Okay, he says that next is sound check. These are all the actors. 
for the props. There's eight songs that are gonna have props. And they're gonna do sound check right after this. I thought I thought it's a slime song. Okay, so you get what happened over here? It took Schleimer, the guy singing it, it's his song, it's a new song. And they took Schleimer's hologram with AI and they attached him to sing this song. The boy is Balga ich rap, ich be a rapper, I'm gonna be a rapper tonight. Now we're busy, there's a show to make money here, right? Right. That's the purpose. So now we're trying to organize the sponsors and who we're going to go after and who's going to be in. You know a lot of high tier donors, who's going to make sure to greet them uh, as of money. Personalized. So this is something that uh, people think there's a concert, and but you forget behind about the, the scenes, part. Wow. behind the scenes, so we have somebody that is interested in buying a bunk house for $750,000. Wow. We're just uh, we're discussing this part, but Baruch Hashem. Wow, very nice. This is Moishi Baskin. Moishi Baskin, where Moishi does he Baskin, come from? Moishi Baskin, he lives in all over the world. Okay. He goes with everyone on tour. Okay. So right. he worked to put up everything over here. Wow. And help us design How many stores. days are you here? Uh, four days here and three days of prep before we came here. Wow. Before we come in here, so we don't have to start from scratch. Scratch. We put together lighting, like the ladders that you see on the side. Yes. A lot of different things, cables. Wow. How many organized. helpers do you have? Uh, we had like 10 from our crew, and then we had the venue provide us with more hands per <laughs> department. Nice. You're tired now. Oh, yeah. No, uh -huh. I, I caught up some sleep over This Shabbos. guy is the most talented guy. Wow. And like lighting is like his toys. Wow. This okay. is like Looking his toy forward. Box. This is our playground. Yep. Looking forward. Looking forward. Thank you. Good. Then See, we have Libby over here. Libby. Tell me something there. about Libby. So the person that comes over here, Libby, come here. Libby, come here. Lame, lame so the first thing is he didn't show you know? up because he's humble. So that's number one. Right, he doesn't like to come yeah. be on camera because he's so like, no, first of all, when the, idea, right. when the idea came to mind to do a musical, yeah. he right away said, I'm in. Right. But no, That's maybe right. this. First time in. I'm Slim in. Yes. I'm in. Now, besides acting, he literally sat on every line of the script, every song, work with the prop guy, with the sound effects guy, sitting by Mandy I, I just saw he had a full song just by himself. Besides the full song, what makes this usually a play, there's a warm-up band just doing a little bit of sound effect. So he had this full arrangement. It's wow, like a movie. wow. So, uh, Broadway, you would say? I was never at Broadway, so I can't say. Yeah, somebody mentioned. But uh, I've heard that name before. Yeah. Um, right. So, Libby, besides being a talented actor, he's yes. a talented human being. Oh, and he's also helping you. us a little bit. Libby's talent is uh, live mix, right? So, live mix meaning? 
Oh, Bishaz the show. Bishaz the show, so what it. angles to get, so. Very nice, very nice. When is the act going up, the rehearsal of the act? That's when the act is four. Four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we'll be on time. Looking forward. Gewaldi. Mezrat Hashem. Everything that you see on the stage, all the screens, all the content that is shown here, all the, and also as a surprise, as an extra bonus, he's doing an act on stage. Two acts. Oh, three acts on stage. Behind the band, there's a whole team that makes sure that all the players and singers have what they need the entire time. There's, of course, rooms for them separately. Then there's the team that does the props. Then there's the team of the actors. Then there's the team of the makeup and the costumes. The place itself, the technicals. Then there's the team of the food. So there's the food for the behind the stage, which is laser nice. Then there's the food for all the people, which is green events. And then there's the camera crew. So there's the camera crew for the behind the scenes, there's the camera crew for the live guy that's running the stage itself, the singers and the actors and making sure they come, everybody knows when to come on and when to go off. Then there's the sound people, then there's the lighting people, and even the lighting and the sound are, and, and the camera are split up into two. There is for the stage and for the crowd. And then there's the prompter, which is a separate guy that takes care of that. Oh, there's so many teams and people, and, and, and I probably missed half of them. And there's so many people that arrived from Israel and from different places. He's a stage manager. He basically makes sure that the whole stage, I'm not on stage during the show. I see Libby, I get calm. Libby makes sure the whole show, show runs smoothly. Singers go up on time, off on time, rehearsal runs on time. Libby is Listen, following. Listen, should I be everything before and mount up? Every song here, we needed the exact arrangements because it's time coded to the beat. If, they, if there's the one bar uh, moved, you don't see the words on the screen. Right. It's time code. Everything has to be in Isn't it too properly. risky? It is, but... Isn't what? there live, like they can move it and control it a, a little bit? No, it's movies. It's, it's not VJ. Uh, We're doing some VJ, but most songs are VTR. How long did it take to do these movies? We hired like 12 freelancers doing Really? Yeah. Wow. So now we're on break. The guys worked very hard since I think uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, they get a well-deserved well -deserved break. The drama works extremely hard, like physically. As important as it is to do rehearsal, yes. we have to make sure that the staff of, what, what is it, 100 people just on stage, get their break and get their food. The food makes so the food. it's not food, it's Easy, special food for rehearsal. Easy cups, you shouldn't have to take, you should do it quickly. Everything is small, wraps, no big stuff. But we have to make sure, it's important. In of this? Laser. Um, laser Niles, shout out, when you need the food. That's it. We have sushi over there, we have snacks for the night, we have drinks, we have coffee station. Heim low as the secret weapon behind every single show, every single thing in Klalisro. First of all, the tickets, the website. Playbill, the printing, the live stream, 
okay. takes care of it fully on his own. And then he takes care of every single moving part to today. And also, he's the right guy. When I get nervous and I need some punching bag, it's usually Chaim yeah, And he can handle it. <laughs> a few we brought in special from Israel. Okay. Fit is the king of lighting them. So he designed the stage, plus he's operating the lights. He brought in how many fixtures? Do you know a number? No, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm telling you, more than a Jewish show ever had. Some of the fixtures are being used for the first time now. By brand new, two of the fixtures yeah. are brand new. The, the, the Pixel yeah, the the Curve are doing debut now. Oh, man, he's the musical producer of this well, show. You're behind it, I'm in front of it. I'm just kidding. Again, another person behind it. We can't it. do it without oh, Shlaimi. Shlaimi gives us the ideas, we just have to execute it. <laughs> but uh, seriously, this man has put in hours and hours of work, and I told you, people don't understand. Like, you come here to play, everything has to be, all the arrangements, everything has to be done beforehand so we can program everything. It's good that they don't know. It's good that they don't know. Um, it's a lot of work. And still, in the middle of the night, redoing stuff. Shlemy, do you were you were of Shabbos, business, businessman. I'm of Shabbos to get away. I need, Why I need, a, you talk I need about a companion. Me. Talk about yourself. Usually the conversation starts like 3 a.m. <laughs> no, I say I talk to... Come on, that's I talk to Mandy Ashkur, it's like talking to China. You send a message 9, nine in the morning, <laughs> get you get it 20 hours later. Oh, how are you doing? Kateb is the... He runs the place. He runs the place. He's the chief of, of uh, NJPEG. Been doing business with you how many years? Eight years. Eight years. Since 2016. Can I know him? Almost high. Eight years. I'm part of the family. And uh, he knows our challenges, and he knows our strengths. But it's been always fun to work with him. Yeah, I try. Right? I try. I love you guys. Reb Shmuel Khan. He is the balabayit from Hef. No, no. No. Shem is the boss. He'll, he'll, be, he'll, he'll witness that. He'll and this is Itchy Toder. Okay. He's one of the board members. Look at Kapitel Telam. Money in the Pishka, the Kudamai Ranainia. All we need is the Yatta Dishmaya. than people on stage, but... Tell me about Shai Graucher, how is this going to work? He's going to come up after the whole thing? No, he's going to, we're doing a beautiful video for Shai, for a tribute to, to, to Daddy. Okay. And we're going to invite the family, we're going to give them a plaque. Wow. Shai is going to talk. Shai is here for his father, but he's also now, like I told you, the show is about resilience. Hey, how are you? Okay, we are behind the scenes, there's all the shakers and the movers, even Marty Berkowitz is here, but we have the celebrity of Klaus, so Shai Graucher just arrived. I would have said hi to him, but he has too many people going on. Let me go to Avram Afrid and ask him a small question. Can we? There's Ari Hill from Israel. There's Shulam Lama. There's Borch Levine behind me. There's Avram Afrid over there. There's Yuval Stupel Agadi. This is Mandy Mass Double M Production, and right now they're doing the act. So he's sitting over here while he's watching the screen. Every act gets more sound effects. He has a bunch of sound effects signed, set up for every single move. It's so interesting to see that the, the, the singers behind the scenes are so humble and normal and down to earth. And when you see them on screen, on stage, you think, that, wow, who knows what? But when you meet him in real life, you just shake his hand. He's a normal human being, just like me and you. His challenges are the same. It's just his profession to be more on stage. It was, it was I, I met almost everyone behind the stage and it was a good experience, positive experience. This is the secret walkway behind the stage, so you don't get in the way of no one. And there's so much more action going on on all sides. There's a marching band that's getting uh, lined up. There's over here the actors and the scenes, the crew. Schmachstanos. Leiby is getting ready. So do action, do. Yankee is telling everyone what to say. 
Let me just say that he needs two more hours for rehearsal and he has a half hour. Other than that, he should be fine. This, this gun is actually real. It's heavy as hell. And I don't know if I should say hell. And the, the realization that I had right now of the rehearsal is so critical. There's so many moving parts. It's so easy to mess up. There's so many people that need to work together, especially when you add an act and stuff and actors. And then the singers, every singer needs to know when to come in and the key and the cue and the, and the, the, the prompter. There's so many things and the sound checks and going back and again. And every little thing can mess everything up. So rehearsal, woo! Finishing up rehearsal, okay. we're rehearsing with Avram Fried now and his musical director from Israel, Yuval Stopal. Uh, we are going to do a quick rehearsal and soundcheck for Mad Dub, which is doing a live DJ set for the crowd. And uh, we're almost ready for showtime. It's Hask 37. Let's do this! Somebody is announcing Nochum Siegel, which is standing right here in the back. And it's showtime. Now is showtime. Hayabun de entro, let's go. Hayabun. Shimat filosi Hashem Mandy, glad to have you do like a 20 second video. But Shmuel, you have to glad to enter. Okay, we're now at 8:25. We're five minutes off, but otherwise we're. Pretty, pretty good on time. We started the show five minutes late. Who is on stage now? now we have Mordechai Spiro on stage. He's singing Achas, one of my favorite songs, personally. After that, he's going to call up Benny for a beautiful duet. Benny's right here. He's ready to go up on stage together with Mori. Yes. And after that, Mori's going to sing Biachat, another nice song. <laughs> Hi. Oh, we're sending you off stage. No. Sorry. <laughs> and? After that, we're going to have Mori. He's going to invite Baruch Levine. And they're going to start a beautiful medley, which is going to include Baruch, Morty, Benny, and Shulam Lemmer. Nice. A nice, beautiful 10-minute medley, English songs and other songs. Beautiful. And then we have Shulam going to stay on stage, and he's going to invite Alex Clear up on stage. Nice. Alex here has a very unique voice. I think the audience is really going to like him. After that, we're going to have a Hask video. Rabbi Judah, I think he works for Hask, is going to give a speech regarding Hask. After that, we're going to invite Avram Free to the stage. Avram Free is going to sing uh, English medley about um, Gules. He's going to do a Chambad medley for Steitzich, as Avramel uh, knows. Yeah. And he's going to call up Ari Hill. He's going to have a duet with yeah, Ari nice. Hill. Um, he's going to do Abba and Alti Paul together with uh, Ari. All this happens tonight? Everything tonight. It's this so is only hot. half of it. No We're way. up to 50%. No Want to hear the rest? <laughs> Daddy, a true legend in every sense. Please join me in welcoming Rav Shai Graucher. Okay, so what's happening right now? They are dedicating a full set for Daddy. It's called Dedicated. Rishai went up to 
for our contribution and he spoke beautifully and everybody's very emotional and now all the singers are going up and I think Shai is also going to join them. We have Shulam Lama on stage, Morty, Avram Fried and Benny. Look at this, look at this screen. They fight for their very existence. We need to keep moving. Keep moving. Thank you for coming in in a minute. I'll see them. We believe. I know the connection with the sound effect. Yes. Look at the setting to the center. What a day! 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 Oh, what a day! 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 We made it! Thank you, Hashem.